Welcome back to Say You Really Want to Learn Latin and today we are going to carry on with our history of Rome from the earliest times and we're going to be looking at the story of Mucius Scaevola. Now this comes at the end of chapter 9, so we're making good progress through the course. You will remember that in our last story of Rome, the valiant Horatius held off the Etruscan army with just two colleagues, and while he was keeping Lars Porsena and his invading army of Etruscans uh, away from Rome, his colleagues back on the Roman side of the river were hacking away at the bridge, the bridge, the Pons Sublicius, and they hacked that bridge down, and Horatius uh, dived into the river and swam safely back to safety. Now, Lars Porsena was not happy with this stage of affairs and he didn't give up that easily. So he continued to besiege the city of Rome. So after a few weeks of getting hungry, a brave young Roman patrician called Gaius Mucius resolved to go and get rid of the problem. And the way to get rid of the problem was to kill Lars Porsena. So, he sneaked into the Roman camp, and approaching the king's tent, he saw a very well-dressed man sitting outside the tent, and, thinking it was the king, he leapt on him with his dagger and stabbed him. Well, immediately the royal guards arrived, and they jumped on Gaius Mucius, and dragged him in front of the king. So Gaius Mucius was a bit surprised to find that his plan had gone wrong. He thought he'd kill the king, and in fact he hadn't. He'd killed the king's secretary. And the king, Lars Porsena, was very surprised to find that his secretary had been killed, and that this Roman had got into the camp and caused all this carnage. So Lars Porsena said, who on earth are you? And Gaius Mucia said, I am a Roman, and we Romans are not afraid. And what's more, there are plenty more like me back in the city who would be willing to come out here and risk their lives to save the city. Well, Lars Porsena did not like Gaius Mucius's tone, and indeed he told him so. I do not like your tone, he said. I'm going to throw you in the fire. And at this, Gaius Mucius, seeing a great big sort of brazier with uh, a flame on it in the king's tent, he thrust his right hand into the flames and he said, I do not fear pain. Now, Lars Porsena was so impressed by this display of bravery that he very quickly resolved to send Gaius Mucius back to Rome and shortly afterwards, he made a truce with the Romans. Gaius Mucius himself, when he got back to the city, was rewarded with a piece of land. And thereafter, he was called Mucius Scaevola. Now, Scaevola means left-handed. For obvious reasons, Gaius Mucius, having charred his hand beyond all recognition in the flames, in Lars Porsena's tent, thereafter he became left-handed. So he was called Mucius Scaevola. Now, in our next story of uh, ancient Rome, we'll hear about another brave Roman, this time a Roman lady. Uh, but until then, keep up the good work on the Latin, and we'll see you back here for more videos on this channel.